So our leaving water is colder than our entering water even though the chiller is off. And earlier, so the other chiller just shut down, the plant's cycling right now. But that was reading 47, 48 on the return. So I'm, I don't have peach plugs, but I'm gonna pull both of these temp probes out and we're gonna see um, what my actual probes register down in the pipe, if uh, how accurate they're being. Cause I got a feeling that our leaving, which is this one, is uh, causing a problem. So that's one of the first things I've learned, you know, about doing a lot of this stuff. When you start having issues like that, one of the first things you want to verify is your calibrations. Which in this scenario, if they had been, you know, a degree or so off from each other, you know, I, I, could, I could understand and that wouldn't bother me. But being, you know, five degrees like that, something dramatic, maybe. So our leaving is matching up, or entering is matching up. I'm happy with that. But our leaving, that's our problem right there. We were showing 42, 43, we actually got 50, which is what I expect. 50 makes sense being the chiller hasn't been running at all for whatever length of time. Because of the friction of the flow through the pipes, I expect that temp to go up just based off of friction of the water you know just it's it's you know physics and the fact that we were showing five degrees cooler on the leaving it just that it, it didn't compute so that sensor right there is bad what we can do is we can trade the sensors and this one that the, the leaving is your primary one you want working so if if we can get that one working which we know that the other one was then what we can do is that'll get your chiller to run okay right um then once it's running you know you can you're not as in a one you're not down and two is it's, you're not so critical having to get the other one because the, the entering is not as important as the leaving all right see that's what i wanted to see right there 50 degrees which is exactly what I had uh, leaving so what that just did is I'm gonna tag the entering uh, sensor is bad but um, their issue is that this this sensor here is a problem it's reading several degrees uh, cooler than it actually is so we're gonna tag it I, I plugged it up just as a temporary and um, you know, well, hopefully it'll be enough. It'll let it run and come on and do its job when it needs to. All right, so we got a similar issue on the condenser water. 72 leaving and 66 entering. Again, chiller is not running. We've got peach plugs on this one. And this is registering 75.6 and 74.8. Their entering sensor on this chiller is no good. So we're going to tag that one and recommend it for replacement as well. And that should. So this chiller, the problem it has is looks like it recently went through. This is our first time here at this account. But it looks like it recently went through an overhaul or something. And uh, they've got uh, 2,700 hours of operation and 73,000 starts. Uh, that's 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 a problem so I'm pretty confident uh, these water temp sensors are causing the system to run in ways it shouldn't which is what's causing it to trip out and why it's constantly cycling the way it is that's that's gonna be my uh, my my current determination uh, right now we can't turn it on until later in the day but that's okay <laughs> 